Hola, my name is Cynthia. I'm an international student from Mexico, currently studying at QUT. I feel more comfortable now that I'm living in Igloo student accommodation. I'm surrounded by international students. There are over half a million of international students in Australia. I was surprised to find out how many, or should I say few, of these students were from my country. 20%? 5%? 20,000? 15,000-ish. Actually, there are only 2,000 Mexican students studying abroad in Australia. Mexican international uni students were outnumbered by Chinese international uni students 500 to 1. Do you think these Latin American students would face any unique challenges that, for example, Asian students would not? Less a community and that cultural community behind them. You know, there could be cultural misunderstandings. They maybe wouldn't get as much like, support. I can confirm that there are significant additional hurdles I and other international Latin American students have to overcome in order to study here in Australia. And a big one is being so far from home with almost no people around who understand your culture. I have met a handful of fellow international Latin American students like Augusto. He is a Brazilian student studying public relationships. Mariana, like me, is a Mexican international student. She is studying entertainment industries. I was grateful to hear about their experiences studying in Australia. How do you find making friendships here? Uh, I would say that I mean, it's not easy. It's not mandatory to actually go to classes. So sometimes you meet someone that oh, it's a nice person, and then it's gone. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah, a gone again. Yeah. <laughs> and what about you, man? How do you find uh, here in Australia to interact with the people or the students? In our culture, it's like very normal to like hug each other, you know, like kiss and everything. But um, I knew that many other countries they don't. So especially if I meet someone from a different culture, I'll try to have them initiate no. the, the greeting <laughs> ritual, you know, before I embarrass myself. <laughs> So, how many students from Mexico have you met? Um, two. And you always stop? I just met one, and he left. <laughs> what is your biggest challenge you face here? I mean, like I'm living in Homestead, like so many different nationalities living together. Mm. We have cultural differences. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but we, we can get along. I mean, it's not... So, Mariana, did you miss home? Yeah. Yeah, you know, like, especially when it's like a national holiday, you know, like Independence Day, Revolution Day, Cinco de Mayo, you know, stuff like that. You always kind of miss just going to the carnival, you know, and going with friends and get drunk. I do miss home, but I wouldn't change this experience for anything, really. These students are eager to study the English language and want to work hard to earn a high-quality education. I'm speaking to Mark Barron, manager of English language programs. Can these students achieve the same educational outcome and success as domestic students who speak English as the first language? I find international students' motivation is generally at a higher level, this is a big generalisation, than domestic students to a certain degree. There's a lot more at stake for them. International students are prepared to do the extra bit of research, do the extra draft on their essays. It's positive pressure, if that makes sense. Positive peer pressure, positive cultural pressure can be really good. So as long as you get your English up to a certain standard, I think that's fine. I think some poor students though do struggle if they haven't got their language up to that functional level. There are of course lots of services available, so language and learning advisors throughout every faculty. If there was one bit of advice I could give to students, as soon as you feel that you're struggling, access those services, get your language up to speed. You won't need them the whole way through your degree, you really just need the kickstart. Despite the obvious added difficulties students from Latin America know they will face here, the number of Latino students enrolled in Australia universities continues to grow every year. What have been the positive aspects of your experience? I'm in a new country and I met new people, made friends from different cultures, so that's quite interesting. I mean, people from all over the world that I thought I would never interact with. It's, you know, it's, yeah, pretty cool. My day-to-day -day experiences in Australia are teaching me personal lessons that have helped me grow as an individual. And thankfully, QUT has supported me a lot. Sometimes the path can be tough and you might feel lonely, but you count on yourself. And in my case, studying in Brisbane has been one of the best decisions of my life.